So for this video, I want to take a few minutes to dive into some interesting news for possible PS5 identification technology, Epic Games CEO talking PlayStation 5 once more, and Sony losing an exclusive developer that many hoped Sony would buy out. First, let me know if you guys are planning on getting any of the PlayStation 5 accessories shown during the PS5 reveal. I wanted to ask this question before, but I don't think I got around to it. I want to know if people really care about the accessories or just the PlayStation 5 itself. For people who don't remember, they showed off the DualSense charging bay, the headset, the media remote, and the camera. So comment below if you're planning on getting any of the accessories for the PlayStation 5 or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, Sony losing an exclusive developer. This news hasn't been covered as much and I wanted to take some time today to cover it and to quell some worries people might have. So the story goes, ready it done, the people behind God of War, Chains of Olympus, and Ghost of Sparta, I love those games personally, along with PS4's The Order 1886 have been bought out by Facebook. So. The worry people are having is that we won't get a sequel to The Order 1886 because the studio who made the game is now owned by Facebook. But Ready at Dawn doesn't own The Order 1886 IP, Sony does. So if Sony really wanted to, they could appoint another studio to build the sequel. But part of what made the original shine was the tech used for the game that I believe Ready at Dawn built. Add to that the game not being received well, leading to a less likely chance of a sequel coming out of this. But you guys let me know if you want a sequel to The Order 1886 or not. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the second story of the video, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney recently commenting on the PS5 again and the Unreal Engine 5 Nanite technology they showed off with the PlayStation 5 demo reveal and how it came from years of working with Sony. So this has been circling around the internet and multiple sites seem to be covering it. It comes from the latest edition of the Edge magazine where Tim Sweeney states the following. It was three or four years ago at least when we started to talk with Mark Cerny about possibilities for the next generation. Now, this might sound familiar to some of you because Tim Sweeney also said the following last month. The Unreal Engine 5 demo on PlayStation 5 was a culmination of years of discussions between Sony and Epic on future graphics and storage architectures. The Nanite and Lumen Tech powering it will be fully supported on both PS5 and Xbox Series X and will both be will be awesome on both. So I guess the new part of this is actually just getting an exact time of work, about three to four years, but nothing really new here. I just wanted to point that out to everyone. Now, diving into the final story of the video, this PS5 identification patent. A new patent has surfaced that seems to identify several items in video game content. So the idea is that when sharing a video of gameplay, there isn't information on things like the game, the characters in the game, the player who's playing the game, etc. Essentially, what this patent is describing from my understanding is building a piece of tech to be able to analyze and decipher video content to find out what game is being played, what characters, and even who actually the player playing this game is in the video. To me, this sounds pretty advanced if I'm understanding it correctly. Let me read the abstract for you guys to get some clarity. A player identification system for identifying players from recorded video content. The system comprising a video content analysis unit operable to analyze one or more frames of video content. A player name identification unit operable to identify player names in one or more analyzed frames of the video content and a data generation unit operable to generate data relating to the video and dependence upon one or more identified player names. To get a better understanding, here's part of the description for this piece of tech. An informal sharing of large quantities of content between users naturally makes content harder to manage. For example, video content that is uploaded to a website may not be associated with information that identifies the correct game, characters in the game, and or players of the game, for example. 
This makes it difficult to present content in an intuitive and useful manner, which hinders the ability of users to be able to locate relevant content or content that is potentially of interest to that user. This may also be problematic for those who generate such content, with many players being considered equivalent to sports personalities. There is a significant interest for these players to be able to locate such content in order to be able to manage their exposure and public image. So from all of this, this pretty much sounds like a system to allow video content that is shared to contain information for the game being played along with who is playing it so others who consume the content can find more of it, essentially find the original creator. To me, this sounds pretty great for content creators out there, but I'm assuming here that this is just content shared from the PlayStation 5 possibly, or could this analyze content on the internet so someone, for example, using the PlayStation 5 and consuming this content can find more of it. I personally think it's the latter, but that's just a guess on my end. It's a patent right now, so we don't know if it'll ever happen or not at the moment. But you guys let me know if you care about having a feature that can recognize players so they can possibly get some recognition and you can possibly get more content that you like. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with... I need more gameplay. I know we got some gameplay not too long ago, but I need more from Horizon. I need more from Spider-Man. I need more from Ratchet and Clank. If you feel the same way, destroy the comment section with I need more gameplay. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one.